If someone coughs or sneezes too close to you, you might run away because you don't want to catch their germs. By germs, you mean the things that make you sick, the things that can spread from one person to another. But what are these things? Germs are better known in science as pathogens. Pathogens are foreign, infectious microbes that cause sickness and disease. We say that they're foreign because they do not originate in the body. They're infectious because they can spread from one host to another. And we call them microbes because they're microscopic. One example of a pathogen is a virus. Viruses are foreign microbes that cause sicknesses. Here are some examples of different viruses. Each virus causes different symptoms and can lead to different types of sickness in the body. Other examples of pathogens include some bacteria, some yeast, and some fungi. But not all, because some are harmless. There's even good bacteria, such as the decomposers in the soil and the bacteria that lives in our own digestive system. Other bacteria is pathogenic. These bacteria cause sickness and disease. So how do pathogens get in the body and how do they disrupt homeostasis? Pathogens can enter a host through the nose, mouth, eyes, through a cut, or any other opening to the body. Once inside, pathogens can invade the host cells. Some pathogens use the host cells to replicate and then spread to infect other cells. Many of the pathogens that we encounter during our lifetime enter through our respiratory system and invade cells in our nose, throat, and lungs. Pathogens disrupt homeostasis and interfere with normal life functions like breathing, eating, talking, moving, and sleeping. Luckily, our body's immune system is designed to fight pathogens and stop sickness.